on. <laughs> All right, it's too late, dude. We're, 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 we're doing it live, man. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to Hot Couch Potato. My name is Brent, a.k.a. Boo Wop. I'm here with my man's Rick, a.k.a. A New Perfect Day. I'm doing this all backwards because this is the podcast where we talk about video games and um, everyone just being off in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to talk about. See, I got so distracted when you showed me that clip. <laughs> and it's just like I was reading the, the article and then the guy was like, yeah, I'm going to wear a cup every day or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I just shared for context. I just shared an article with Rick just because the GIF was hilarious. It's this uh, catcher, and he's you know in baseball he's trying to catch a ball, but he just completely does not know where the ball is going, and it lands straight onto his dick and balls, dude. <laughs> like I think he said they took him out like in the <laughs> third inning or something like that. <laughs> it's like an eighty mile per hour curveball right into you know his uh, boing loins, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude that shit is too funny man um well yeah no that sucks I, I felt his pain all the way here through the internet man through time and space <laughs> at first i didn't see what you're talking about i was like what gif are you trying to show i don't uh -huh. see it and then you're like just look at the pick the baseball and i was like oh okay yeah it's right in the middle <laughs> <laughs> yeah man dude, that fucking sucks he needs to wear a cup every day of his life even if he's not playing baseball i don't know why i don't do that now man you just never know exactly well i i had a cup back in the day when i was like doing karate uh -huh. taekwondo, and yeah it, it kind of actually rubs against your inner thigh so it doesn't feel too good <laughs> just get that <laughs> fucking chafing and shit dude exactly dude i remember one time i took like uh or i went with someone to a jujitsu class you know uh -huh. and yeah i don't have fucking gear to do jujitsu dude but you're supposed to wear like a cup during jujitsu because it's like wrestling you know you're yeah. just getting everybody in holds and stuff and i just went one time you know just to see how it was to see if i would like it and stuff um turns out i do not like when other people's sweat is on me so it, <laughs> it wasn't for me dude but anyways there was a time when uh we were practicing like you know arm control and stuff like that so we we're flipping over each other and you know getting each other in like uh, arm bars and shit like that and i was like yeah dude my bad you know, my dick is totally on your uh, elbow right now, but, you know, we'll just roll with it, dude. Because <laughs> you can tell he had a cup, obviously, dude, right? And I just totally didn't have anything. <laughs> so he's, he's just digging in there, man. RIP to him. <laughs> Actually, shout out to him for putting up with that bullshit, dude. So, yeah, that might be a thing. I might just have to buy a cup just for hanging out, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At mm -hmm. least you got the peace of mind, you know. No one can ever <laughs> surprise you in a battle. <laughs> <laughs> no need for a bulletproof vest or no shit like that, dude. Yeah. Let's have a, a cup and, and you'll be protected, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, how's the week been, dude? Uh, anything crazy happening? Nah, nothing crazy. I just realized how stressful I get when I was playing uh, Hollow Knight again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You know, I was trying to get back into Hollow Knight because I haven't been playing it for a while. And one of my coworkers kept talking about it every day. And I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll, I'll start getting into it. And I was just wandering around. So I opened up a, like a different area. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure you know the City of Tears or something like that. Mm, remind me. What does that look like? That's like an area where it's like uh, kind of like a city, but it's raining. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was just exploring that whole area, and yeah, I got really, really stressful when I ended up losing like a thousand what money currency. So I died oh, like from two dying? times. Yeah. yeah, and I couldn't get my money back, and I was like so eager. So I tr I rushed it, died, lost everything, and then I hyperventilated for like a, a few seconds, <laughs> turned it off, and then I finally came back the next day. Um, but then I progressed, and so I got that dream nail, which basically has something to do with going in between the spirit world and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I. I encountered this one boss, and I thought it was, you know, like a normal boss, but when I tried fighting it, I spent five hours 
trying to kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the sucky part is he's called what the fallen champion or something, a failed champion or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And apparently you don't lose your soul and whatnot. So, which is good and, and all that. And after the first couple hours of just pure dying, I said, you know, what? I'm going to have to look this up. So I looked it up, and people were saying, yeah, you can actually use emblems, and they won't break in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll try that. So that didn't work. Um, So I eventually – I think I came down to the fourth or fifth hour. I was was getting super frustrated. I was like, you know what? Why am I even trying to fight this guy? You know, and then I started counting. I was watching YouTube videos, and I was starting to count how many times they hit him mm-hmm. before he actually like you know <laughs> died. So you're counting how many times you needed to hit him. Exactly. So <laughs> here's the thing that frustrated me. Uh huh. Uh-huh. So I was pooping on the bathroom. And all that. So I was counting the hits. Oh, you're was, playing on the Switch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Portability. Well, no, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I was counting the hits on YouTube. The guy hits the guy, I think, 29 times. And I said, huh, not bad. I can do that. So for the first, like, 30 minutes, I was just trying to get up to 29 hits. And I think I got up to, like, 27 and I died and whatnot. But mm-hmm. then finally I got up to 29. And I was like, yeah, you're about to die. I hit him. He didn't. He didn't die. I said, mm. "What the fuck?" So I I keep hitting him, and I'm like starting to go into the 30s. I'm like 35, 36, 37. I'm like, wait a minute, this is something's not right here. I keep hitting him. I'm at 60 right now, <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, the video, the guy killed him in 30 hits. How come I'm killing? I'm I'm still fighting this guy. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I died, and I kept getting around between 50 to 60 hits, and he was still wouldn't die. So I don't know what emblem there these motherfuckers are using, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's strength and booster or something. But Boy, wait, you – have you found the guy that uh, – well, you just got to thing, to the reigning city, the City of Tears. Yeah, beat – kind of beat that area a little bit i was fighting a mage and he was teleporting that was the last thing i fought that's the guy you fought it he's on like the roof right and yeah you... okay so you beat him already yeah and then i went up where it's to the 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 graveyard and then that's where i was in the dream world you got the and dream, I got the nail. dream yeah. nail and then i went back to the be- very beginning of the the level and then i saw that that optional boss i guess mm-hmm. and yeah, I thought I was pretty doing pretty good, and I went to fight him, and yeah, I don't know what it you is. Can, but if you I go back, if you go back, go back to the beginning of the City of Tears. Uh, I think instead of going right towards the boss in the beginning, when you get out the building, um, go to your left. I think there's a guy that can uh, buff your your fucking nail. Yeah, there's a guy that can buff your nail, but you're at the right place in the City of Tears. Just go back there, but when you get outside, like you know how you have to how you have to go down all the way to the bottom, walk across and fight that boss all the way on the top on the other side. Mm-hmm. Instead of going to the other tower on the right, uh, there's a way to go down on the left, and that's where the the guy that buffs up your nail is. I only know because dude, I went to that guy so many times to try and buff up my nail. I did not know this. I've been trying to fight this guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you might not even have the you might not even have the materials yet. I think they give you one in the beginning from one of the first bosses, but yeah, dude, check it out, man. I think there's a guy that definitely buffs up your your nail oh nearby. You're just not taking advantage I'm, of it, dude. <laughs> yeah, cuz I thought I was legit and yeah, I was on the 60th hit and I was like, "Oh my god, I, I don't know when how many more hits until this guy goes down." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, man. Hollow Knight is is sneakily challenging, dude. I think there's. I'm definitely stuck at one boss right now. I think it's like an optional like DLC boss too. You know that little dude, um, who looks like you but he's older. His name is like the Mighty Zote or something like that. The old man that, that he's talking shit. Saving, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm the best, man. You suck or whatever. It's like, stop saving me. I had this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You fight him. I think in the dream world and it's his dreams 
but becomes all fucking buff and shit. <laughs> and I can't beat him, dude. <laughs> like, I think that's where I stopped as far as the optional stuff goes. But yeah, no, it's sneakily hard. One of those uh, dream bosses, Um, that's it took me like three hours, four hours to beat him too, dude. And that's when we're like, I almost threw my controller and ripped my shirt, dude. This is so frustrating, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was doing good. I was like, I got 30 hits and then what i have to keep going and it got to 60 i was like okay i'm losing motivation so. <laughs> <laughs> so i know last time we talked about hollow knight you were skipping or you just weren't finding the the fast travel points have you found more now yeah ever since i was unlocking the city of tears i was unlocking literally everything all the fast travels mm-hmm. that bug that travels the train that goes back and forth mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um Generally, all that is just. I even got my light, so now I can go in the deep deepness. I think it is, or the mm-hmm. dark area where it was pure dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was just exploring the. Yeah, I just got them beating. What's that guy in the the sewer too? Um, that other night, and the he like throws one? poop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, those fights are cool. I like those fights where you're fighting other knights and stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> or if you're fighting, what's her name? The chick that's gonna be in the sequel. Uh, I forget her name. The, the tall, nail. Skinny one. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So her fights against her are great too. Like once you figure out her pattern, you're just like, "Ha! I trick you at every point, bitch!" And you're just yep. like beating her ass, you know. Um, but I enjoy those fights a lot. Uh, the failed champion one is cool too. But then there's ones like the the mage that you just killed. That fight was kind of annoying, dude. In the beginning. Yeah. Or you have to really just dodge, and if you fuck up the dodge, you just sit there and take the hit, dude. Like when he's bouncing around on the floor, you're just like, okay, just land on me, dude. I mistimed this. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is uh, I use that one spore one, and I just keep using that. Oh, uh, yeah, and yeah. Just lets it damage it by himself, so I don't have to chase him or anything. Yeah, yeah. What is that one? That It's when you heal, it puts that poison aura. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been useful, but then... There's some boss fights where it's not useful. So it's mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, you have to keep mm-hmm. switching. Have you gotten to the Coliseum yet? Uh, I don't remember. What, which one is that one? Coliseum is like, it's basically an arena and you fight in front of a crowd. And it's just like a challenge mode. I think the there's three or four rounds of it. The first round is mandatory for the story to get something. And then you could do like the third and fourth levels uh, after you beat it. Uh, not yet. Uh, okay. I did explore one of the ghosts, though, and he was like – he had a bunch of rings, and he was in the mushroom area, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and he was, like, mm-hmm. shooting the rings downwards. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, I finally beat a boss, but it, it wasn't satisfactory because – I don't know. I think I got too powerful from fighting that other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, god damn it. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm on uh, – because I think what they did with Hollow Knight is like with Shovel Knight where they just gave everybody all the DLC. You know, I don't think you have to pay any extra for it. Um, So I know there's a couple DLC packs, and I'm on one of them. But just because I've been fighting that little dude in his dreams and I haven't been able to beat him, (laughs) it's kind of frustrating. (laughs) I stopped playing, and I beat the main story. So I was like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to do anything else in this game. But shit, you're right, man. I might have to go back in there. Yeah, I got to beat it. Otherwise, it's going to be a stain on your record. <laughs> <laughs> he's just annoying, man. Because he's that little old man. And like you said, he just pops up in the story. I think, what, he gets a last hit on a boss or something. And he's like, I saved you, didn't I? And just talks a bunch of shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. So fighting him <laughs> is so satisfying until you have to fight him in the dream world, dude. Oh, no, it's not his dream. Like, he has an admirer or something. So it's her dream of him. She's like, oh, he's so powerful. He's so mighty. No one can beat him. And then you have to fight him. It's like, fuck, dude. He's all buff because this girl believes in him so much, dude. (laughs) Which is a cool concept, dude. I think more stories or more video games should do that. Where you just have this insignificant villain, you know? But he has that one admirer that's willing to give up everything for him and just buffs him up. I think that would be pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that one boss dude in Demon Souls. Um, you remember where is that? 
in the place with the poison water area? Poison the princess and the knight? Yeah, dude, how you have to fight the knight, but yeah. you just kill the princess real quick or the nun, whatever she is. You can and she, you win it easy. He like gives up and kills himself. Yeah, 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 yep. dude. I remember I thought I juked him, right? When I was first trying. I ran all the way down, I was fighting him. He hits you twice and I think you're dead, dude. Yeah, yeah. So I remember I was like being really careful, hitting him, poisoning him and stuff, or like leaving him in the water so he would get poisoned, you know? And it was just taking way too long. So I got impatient and I was like, you know what? Let me juke this guy. So I brought him all the way to the top of the hill, made him follow me. Then I ran around, jumped down all the way to the bottom, right? But since I fell, like a bunch of my life went away and I'm running in this water. So I get poisoned too. So my life is going down. I don't have any more heals or anything. And I go up to the lady, right? And I'm about to kill her. And she does this miracle where everything around her just blows Explodes. away. Explodes. <laughs> yeah, yep. I fucking died. I was like, no, <laughs> bitch, I can't. <laughs> and then you see him running up to my dead body, you know, to hit it. I was like, God damn it, dude. <laughs> so I just next time I just waited. I let the poison just take him down. <laughs> I I think me, I let him we got in be in, in the cave and he couldn't swing wide so mm. he kept like rebounding his weapon and i would mm. just like hit and run mm. the entire time yeah i think what would i do i would just yeah let him hang out in the water and poison him so i had to i fought him like two or three times yeah uh-huh. man dude demon souls <laughs> speaking of demon souls man have you seen the progress that the playstation 3 emulator is making negative is this on pc yes i just i saw videos recently of this guy playing demon souls 4k 60 frames per second dude what i know man (laughs) it is insane dude would you play it again if you could play it with those specs yeah if my computer can handle it too as well well it can it should so yeah definitely I I'll think... play Bust the Groove, so I'm ready for PS3. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you playing? You were playing that on emulator as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, even though there's some audio issues, but mm. yeah, it was pretty fun as it is. I think, yeah, I can't wait for uh, more emulators, mm-hmm. more advanced emulators. Because man, dude, yeah, I, I it was a struggle bus playing that shit on the on the PS3, man. I can I can only imagine what it's like playing it on an emulator at a smooth pace, dude. Yeah. If they got everything else to work, I might get it too. Because I think there's some things like Red Dead doesn't work perfectly yet. They still have to like mess around with it for it to work perfectly. Um, what else? Like The Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto. I don't I didn't think it worked perfectly. But Grand Theft Auto is on Steam, isn't it? Four? Yeah. Or- I don't know. Let me double check. It has to be because I think I have it on Steam. I do want to build a new computer eventually Dude. to have everything just modern and upgraded. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But even though my computer can pretty still, you know, handle all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And yours too. Your graphics card is pretty updated there. Yeah. So. That's very true. I just want a new case and a new uh, power supply. That shit is <laughs> itself costs a billion dollars as well, though, dude. Yeah. So I don't know. One day, oh here, I'll shoot you the video of this bin. But yeah, Demon Souls guy. I think yeah, I platinum that game, dude. For two whole days, I was farming like rocks <laughs> so you can upgrade oh, your you're weapons trying to, yeah <laughs> i think i mine I, I have like two that's stopping me from becoming platinum or something <laughs> like that it's something like the sharp stone or something like that the sharp stone or there's this one other stone dude that i i farmed for like two days i killed the same enemy over and over dude <laughs> <laughs> and then i had to do that quest uh where you invite that person to like the church and they kill everybody. Yeah. Did you do that one? Yeah, I had to do that one. And then kill him in the end and then this mystery masked person came through and I had to fight them for like some weapon men. But What? Is this guy playing 
Is this the emulator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on PC. Oh my god, it looks really it looks clean. amazing, right? <laughs> it looks fucking amazing. Cause you, it's on the PS3, for, especially since I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto Four lately. It's a little fuzzy, right? Like, yeah. I th- I don't know what it is. It's just it looks like a weird. There's another way I can explain it other than it being just a weird filter on your TV screen. You know, um, maybe everything is just not native HDMI or something, but. Yeah, everything just has a little fuzz to it that doesn't make everything so sharp. But yeah, looking at this dude, it looks super clean, right? Yeah, they you know what they need to do they, for every video game, they need to build it on the PC first, and then <laughs> <laughs> like what? that's gonna be super hard to to transfer over, though, isn't it? And then uh, eventually make their their own <laughs> port. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, no, it looks super clean. I'd be willing to play this again, man. There's no oh, what if they open up the fucking multiplayer too, dude? Hell yeah, dude. That dude, this sick. looks so clean. Yeah, yeah, no, it looks super good, man. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Cause they potentially they could open this up again for people to play uh multiplayer on, even though you can't do it anymore on they don't have the Demon Soul servers up anymore. Um, there's this game, multiplayer Resident Evil. And when I say multiplayer Resident Evil, I mean not Operation Raccoon City. I mean uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, where it even has like the OG, um, <clears throat> what are they called? The OG camera angles, you know? It's not third yeah. person over the shoulder. And then you pick all these characters, and then you're all dropped into the same scenario. And this was on the PlayStation 2, you know? Um so I remember recently, maybe about a year ago, I played it with Marcel and I played it over on the PC and he had like a modded PS2 that could play it. Um, so it was crazy. Someone managed their own servers just to bring this game back. Um, so I don't doubt that they would if someone. Well, not nah, dude. Demon Souls community is huge, man. And hell they would yeah, it is. It again. Yep. So that's where my cousin got his name. Metis it's from oh, the Penetrator yeah, right. Knight. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, the penetrator knight. See, I cheated. I had what's his name help me in New Game Plus. What's dude, his name yeah, again? I forgot. I, sorry, I think it started with the B, but yeah, I didn't know about him. Like everyone's like, oh yeah, that was the easiest boss in the world. I was yeah, like, what he the fuck, you. that was the hardest boss I ever fought. But I where else does he help you? He helps you against the. I think he distracts the dragon on the next part too. But, yeah. No, that, that guy's the greatest. It's like, my name is something of Boletaria Charge. And he just fucking runs in Kamikaze and shit, dude. Yep, yep. Hell yeah, man. That guy's the best, dude. So yeah, no, it looks super clean. But again, I don't think every game works perfectly. I'm saying, man, if they got Red Dead on there, 60 frames per second, holy Jeez. shit. I, I'd play that game over again in a heart. Yeah. Time, dude. That was really a perfect 10 in my book. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely play that all over again. Yeah. I haven't even finished uh, the other one. Red Dead 2? Yeah. Oh, no way, dude. I think it was just... Yeah, I, I, I'm in that one town on the far right, so I think I just need to finish up, just power through the stories. Yeah, yeah. Because we've got to play online, man. I want to do some online missions on there with you. Dude. Oh, yeah. Rob, I other like... people. Yeah, it'd be a spoiler, though, because I think stuff that happens in there is, like, after the main game, some stuff at least. Um, But, yeah, because those were good times, dude. Red Dead Online, fighting the zombies and shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Do you think this year they'll come out with a Red Dead 2 zombies? I think so. And But the thing is, it's kind of tricky for me to aim, at least. You know, it's like, in, in the first one, it was so easy to lock on to the zombies. Mm-hmm, but this mm-hmm. one, yeah, I, I was always using Deadeye in order to get my headshots. Every- mm. So, I don't know. That's it might be a little bit tricky for me. I think it is a little bit trickier. So, I have been, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto 4 lately. And I always thought... I was super good at it, you know, getting the headshots and stuff. But yeah, the aiming is tricky in that too, because you can lock on to a person, and then once you lock on to them, kind of like Red Dead, you you can move it a little bit to like yeah. aim up and try to get the headshots and stuff. But yeah, it's not always reliable. Sometimes if you move the crosshair too much, it just completely goes off the person you're aiming at. It doesn't lock on too much anymore. 
Exactly. So yeah, it's, it is. It's kind of crazy, man. But yeah, no, for sure. If they put Red Dead back on, or on that emulator, dude, sixty frames, dude, I'm down. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> lock myself in my room for like two days to finish that shit, man. <laughs> we gotta play the co-op missions again and just finish it all on gold. <laughs> oh, that's right, dude. That's right. I remember there was one. I forgot which mission it was. But we're on like a boat or something, and we had to like stay on the boat until we land at this house, like kill everybody at the house, and then go back in the boat. I think there was one time when either you or I or someone I was like going back to the boat but missed the boat and landed in the water and drowned dude <laughs> <laughs> like right at the very end these fucking games bro <laughs> dude I remember we played that mission I think for a couple hours just trying to beat get gold oh get gold yeah yeah because yeah. we have to get all those headshots or something dude. exactly we have to, like, score streaks or something man yep yeah uh, that game was crazy dude um, but yeah, no, good times though. Um, let's see, what else is going on, man? Oh, GTA Four. I have been playing. It's so funny. I was talking so much shit about that game last week, dude. Mm. Yet when I get home, like every day, I'm like, oh hey, let me jump on Grand Theft Auto real quick, dude. Because <laughs> there's so much stuff. I guess the last time I played it, right? I originally played Grand Theft Auto Four. I think it was on the 360. You know. Mm. So when I played it on the PS4, I think I just played it you know, just to beat the game, but I missed so much stuff like to get, I think there's a bunch of trophies, like, you know, get 10 counters in four minutes or something like that, or uh, do all the stunt jumps, kill all the pigeons and shit like that, you know? So yeah. Come home every day and try to get those trophies and shit, dude. And it's so addicting. There's a trophy about winning 20 races. And I think I had 13 or something in the game at the time. So I was like, fuck it. I could do seven races real quick. Two hours later, I'm like, damn, I've been playing this game for two hours, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting second place. <laughs> I know, man. But it's no fun. Like, it's kind of funny in that game. I know, There's a, specifically a store where you can buy or where you could steal the best car in the game, I think. Um, and the cars just spawn there, you know, so consistently so you can steal this car. And you go into a race and the race isn't set to anything. Like, I'll jump into this race, and it's all SUVs, and I have this sports car. So it's like an easy win and shit. I'm like, all right, dude, I'm out here. Um, and then sometimes it'll be against, like, little Honda Civics and shit, and they're fast. So I have to, like, really try in those races, man. <laughs> so you can never tell in that game. But, yeah, no, sneakily, I've I've gone through the whole week playing Grand Theft Auto 4, dude. It's, it's been weird. The game is unusually addictive, man. Have you been playing uh, on the PS3, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why the the non-crispness of the graphics is so fresh in my memory, dude. You know? Yeah. It's, it's so weird. It just It's just an unusual filter. I guess it's not HD like we're used to with, with, with more modern games, man. I'm looking um, at uh, the P... There's, there, hey, they have it on Steam, so... They do. Do I have... Grand Theft Auto 4 on Steam? I feel like I do, dude. I'll have to check it out again. Um, But it, it is, it's such a nostalgia trip, like, playing the game and then, you know, riding through town, listening to the radio stations, you know? Uh-huh. It's always the music in those games that brings me back, man, because you just remember playing the game so much and hearing all those songs, and then you just hear them all again, dude. And it's good <laughs> times, man. Um. So one thing I have been doing, too, is there's this trophy you can get if everyone likes you over 90%, like all your friends in the game like you over 90%. And the way to get that up is to, you know, like when Roman calls you with it, hey, cousin, it's your cousin. You know yeah. What I'm saying? You have you to go out answer. fucking bowling with him and shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. You have to do shit like that. So I've been going. So it's so funny. Like there's one character, Packy, and he just likes to go out to drink and play darts and shit. Yeah, I remember I challenged him to darts one time. So I picked him up. We went out to play darts. I like fucking RP'd, like role played the whole thing, you know, parked in front of the bar, walked up to the bar, dude. Yeah. <laughs> went to go play <laughs> darts with him, you know, go outside. Someone bumps into him and he cusses him out. So I punch the guy. Then we get in this big ass fight. The cops chase this dude. And I just fucking take him home after outrunning the cops, man. <laughs> yeah. And that's what's so fun about the game. It's so random, you know, and it has that little charm with it still and it just takes you back it's because you know the grand theft auto games are very it's it's a satire of the world you know in grand theft auto 5 there's like 
social media companies that are exploiting a bunch of shit in this one. It's all about like the American dream and, and how everybody's trying to come and achieve that stuff. But it turns out to be just fake, you know? Yeah. So it's really just like a social commentary on what America was like at the time. So it's kind of funny, like going back and, and revisiting all that shit. You're like, oh, yeah, those those were kind of big deals back in the day. So it's it's kind of funny to play now, I think. I'm really only going to get maybe one or two more trophies and I'm done playing the game. But it's been good. It's beginning to run back into it. I think for sure I could say at least. No, nah, that's not fair. I need to play Grand Theft Auto 5 again. But I'm having, I think I had more fun playing Grand Theft Auto 4 than 5. I I just love the story from 4. That's why I, I yeah. remember. Because I, I think I fell out from playing the other ones or the last one before that. And then mm. when I played 4, I was like, oh, man, this is an interesting story. You know, you come from a different country trying to make a better life. Mm. And here you are trying to prove your, <clears throat> your loyalty and yeah. whatnot. And you're chasing down all the bad guys. And... Ah, yeah. I felt pretty badass. Yeah. Did you never played like uh The Lost and Damned or Ballad no. of Tony, huh? Uh, uh, are those good? Yeah, I think they're they're really good. Uh Lost and Damned was alright, dude. It was I think you'll dig it. It's about like a biker gang and stuff. And then uh Ballad of Gay Tony is getting more outrageous, you know, you do more stunts and you can skydive and fly helicopters that are cranes and shit and pick up cars, you know, it's a little bit more, um, outrageous. Um, but that's what got me lost. I think too, in grand theft auto five, um, spoiler alert, uh, when they introduce Trevor, he like kills the main character of lost and damned. In fact, I think after that, in that mission, when you, when you first become Trevor, I think he kills the whole cast of the lost and damned, uh, DLC, dude. It's kind Damn. of insane, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they did that just to show how badass um, he is, you know? And sure, it painted him as like this maniac killer, you know? But shit, I had an emotional attachment to those characters, dude. I played <laughs> as them in The Lost and Damned and saw the struggle of how they tried to evade the cops and, and get rid of their like corrupt uh, gang leader and stuff like that. So over there, I get killed off just super quick. In five, so for me to be like driving this car and running them over in Grand Theft Auto Five, I was like, man, that's not right, dude. <laughs> I think that's where it started to be. You know, that game started to go a little bit downhill. Um, but yeah, no, the Grand Theft Auto Five just didn't hit the same beats as Grand Theft Auto sure, uh, Four for sure to me. So I think I'm with you on that one. The GTA Four story was a lot better. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been good times. I need to plug in my PS4, dude. I need to fucking play Monster Hunter for real. It's almost September, dude. I know. I was thinking that. I was like, we have not been playing. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do, is summer over? Is summer almost over, dude? It's August. I, it's August 20 almost, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. Summer when is, is almost over. Coming out? It's coming out soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think September 20 something or September 17th. Six. What's September 6th? <laughs> <laughs> okay dude not the oh, maybe man. this week i'll play oh, my ps4 that day. <laughs> I'll, I'll play my ps4 again coming up then <laughs> holy shit yeah it's coming up fast i thought we had time yeah um, we gotta get all the the quests and the layered armor jesus um yeah no we gotta play that shit so i'm gonna be broke starting probably in october because that's when everything's coming out dude <laughs> um but no in september that'll start it off too what other games you said you were going to be broke in september what other games are you gonna pick up besides uh i'm trying to block it out of my memory uh, <laughs> but there were... buy it? yeah there... well <clears throat> i do want to buy it but i just don't remember the list and uh, I, I i keep seeing it like i think one was like astral chain mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. link that's coming out. I don't. Oh, that's September. So yeah, I Link, Astro Chain. I know Pokemon's in November. Uh huh. Uh, there wasn't. I think there's DLC coming out for the Messenger. Ooh. Uh, but I think that's gonna be free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so many games. I just can't think of it right now. Yeah, dude. I was looking at a lot of stuff. Astro Chain over this past week, dude. That might be my favorite game of this year. And it's not even out yet, man. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. 
just because of I was looking at this the the combat in that game, and I just like the style how it looks too, man. It's very very anime, dude. So I think that's gonna be my winner for this year, man. And then you can explore the city. Like the whole game isn't just fighting shit. You can like walk around the police station because you're like a superhero cop or something like that. And then just hang out, take pictures of shit, dude. And we all know I love taking pictures with a camera in a game, dude. <laughs> Pokemon Snap. <laughs> I know, man. Or like in the Grand Theft Autos with your fucking camera phone, you know, just taking pictures yep. of shit. So, yeah, just the fact that you can, you know, run around and fight shit as usual, but at the same time, just kind of chill in the world. That's always yeah. good times, man. Um, more games should have that, dude. Where there's an objective other than fighting. Is Persona like that? Uh, Taking pictures? No, where you can just chill and walk around? Or are you always like in a place where you gotta fight shit? Sorta. So essentially Persona is more like you just mainly have like sandbox areas you can go to Mm -hmm. and visit. And you can walk around, of course. But um, yeah, it's mostly sandbox. And... You can't really explore like a like a city city mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's just, oh, I feel like going to the cafe today. Oh, I feel like going to, you know, the bookstore. Mm-hmm. And then you walk around inside, and that's basically it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, at least you can explore other than, than fighting. And that's why I think, too, Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be great because you can just fucking walk around and hang out as Cloud, you know? Yeah. You'll be able to travel through the entire city of Midgar, dude. Dude, that I hope that's gonna be the case, man. Cause if they're gonna be just focusing on Midgard, then I don't mind spending an extra when we go outside, all that. Yeah, man. There, there has to be like uh, some wacky ass mini games, dude. There has yep. to be. There has to be like a, I don't know, like a cleaning up the street in the slums mini game. There has to be a bartender mini game. <laughs> you're like Marlene or Tifa just making drinks at the bar dude that's <laughs> all kinds of shit man <laughs> cause that's part of the cool thing about Final Fantasy 7 is you know not only is it a typical you know turn based RPG JRPG but also you have you know you ride a motorcycle you ride a snowboard you're in a submarine shooting shit. You know, you're launching off a, a a rocket ship into space. And all these things are kind of little mini games. You give a little girl CPR after she drowns. And it mm-hmm. kind of changes up the gameplay a little bit. So they got to include something like that in the remake, dude. Mm. Maybe the motorcycle. You're just, I don't know, riding throughout the city. That would be sick, dude. If you could r- drive in like the... All the way up from the top to the bottom. That would be kind of sick, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that game's going to be huge, dude. That game's going to be huge. Um, But yeah, no, Astral Chain might be my favorite game this year, and it's not out yet. I think it comes out next week or the next two weeks or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Damon X Machia. When is that one coming out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gundam game. Yeah. Hmm. Is the demo still available for that? Because I remember that demo uh, was great. Uh, oh, September 13th. Damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. It might be broken September, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but I also, speaking of the Switch news, I also saw, too, they're going to have a Cooking Mama on the Switch. That one might take my money as well, man. I, th- I think they said that they're going to use, like, real recipes and all that. That, wait, wait, wait! They always use real recipes, dude, don't they? Yes, I don't. I never <laughs> played. I never played Cooking Mama. Oh, you never played Cooking Mama, dude. The uh, the demo or whatever the gameplay I saw, that one looked pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, man. I learned how to dice onions from Cooking Mama, dude. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, in Cooking Mama, the whole thing is you know you pick a dish you want to cook, right? Mm-hmm. And then when you pick it, it goes through the steps of cooking that dish. And this is on the 3DS or the DS, right? And you have to go there with your little stylus and put the little slits in the onion. And then you chop the onion up and it comes out in perfect squares. And you're like, yes, dude. You know, you have to try and not cut your fucking self or anything like that. 
And then while you're cooking, you have to stir and control the heat and everything, dude. Nah, I learned how to cook a shit ton of stuff off of Cooking Mama, dude. Damn. Okay, maybe I need to pick that up, too. It's, it's real recipes, bro. <laughs> 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 no, you have to do the eggs, too. You know, like the, uh, what are they called? Like tamayaki or something like that? Yeah. Where it's yeah. the like a scrambled egg, but it's really thin and they just fold it over. Yep. You have to do shit like that, too. And, you know, Japanese, it's just you have to take care in everything you do, right? The yep. eggs have to be fucking light and fluffy. You can't just fucking leave the egg on there, flip it one time, and you're done, right? You have to just be use chopsticks to cook your fucking scrambled egg and shit, man. <laughs> so, no, King Mom is going to be great. Um, I think it just made, like, news headlines this week because there's going to be a vegetarian or vegan mode. So that's kind of okay. groundbreaking. Yeah, it'll be interesting, man. I wonder if I'll learn to cook even more from a video game after buying this game, dude. Shoot, they need to teach me how to fish <laughs> in a video game. <laughs> Where to get my permit. <laughs> what kind of lure to use. What kind of bait to use on what type of fish. Dude, they'll teach you everything except for the logistics. of Like, you know, what kind of bait you need and where to get your fucking permit at, dude. <laughs> Oh, but, um, yeah, Link's Awakening is coming out September 20. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, many no. games. There's, there's a lot of games coming out, dude. Um, Wait. When is... When are the big ones coming out? Love Fantasy 7 is in 2020. Oh, so is Cyberpunk is 2020. Okay, so we got some time to save money. Same month or something like that for those two, right? I, yeah, I think either that or within a couple weeks of each other. Because I think... Final Fantasy VII is is March for sure. Um, Cyberpunk might be in thing in April, I think. Huh. But yeah, no. I've been so good. I haven't bought any games recently, man. There's kind of been a lull over the summertime, right? Yeah. So it was yeah. the perfect time to catch up on the backlog, and I totally did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're supposed to we're supposed to go out and have parties, and, but uh, <laughs> nah, man. that was not the case. Nah, there's no money for that shit, dude. We don't have any money okay. for that. <laughs> you got money to play the games we already own, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of games that you already own, dude, you own uh the Batman, the Arkham series, right? Yeah, and it's it's pretty good. I think I've only play I've only played the first one. But the second and third one are even better, aren't they? <clears throat> you have to at least play Arkham City. Is Arkham City other. the second one? Yeah. Okay, okay. And but wait, doesn't Batman kill people in that game? Like, don't you have your tank and shoot people with it? That one's a number that's not Arkham Knight. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So yeah, I've only played the first one and that was great. Um and yeah, there's so much more. The second and third game, those games are huge. What about Origin? That one's not a part of that series, right? It's kind of something it different. It is part of the series, but the act voice actors is not, and it was made by like a different game company too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, people who played it said they enjoyed it as well. But okay. uh, yeah, it's kind of different. Gotcha, gotcha. So I just read this interesting article over the past week, dude. It's kind of funny. Um, as they were making these games, or at least thinking about making these games, because I think Arkham Asylum came out while we were still in high school, didn't it? Yeah. 2005-ish or so? So instead of making those games, they were thinking about making Batman games based on the Christopher Nolan movies off of Batman Begins, uh, Dark Knight, and Dark Knight Rises. Do you think those would have been better games than the ones that we currently have? No. Whoa, really, dude? I enjoyed the Batman games that, <laughs> that we were playing with. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I Yeah, I don't know. Do you think the story... Well, I guess part of the story is there's more villains, right? Yeah. That, in the video that's games? True. Yeah, that was like a different take on the villains and whatnot. And it was more dark, I would say. Well, what's the best part? of the batman games is it figuring out the puzzles fighting fighting the bosses like stealth killing everybody what was the most enjoyable part to you it's kind of like stealthing and entering 
you know, and terrifying all the, mm. the enemies. And at the same time, you're like badass doing it. And then all of a sudden, a surprise, you know, you're facing a boss kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So that felt pretty cool. You know, it wasn't just like, oh, we're going to go into the building and start fighting. It was like, how am I going to take out five guys, three guys with a gun, two guys is like with a sniper, you know, like stuff like that mm-hmm. without being spotted. Mm, I see. That makes sense. I think for me, my favorite times were probably the same thing too, because I always love stealthing and you're right, figuring out how to take people out one by one without alerting everybody. And I don't think there are too many scenarios for that if you were to follow the Christopher Nolan movies. Mm. Um, maybe just a couple scenes. It would have been sick though, fighting the entire League of Shadows in the first one, dude. Oh, that would have been hella sick. <laughs> that would have been tight. Trying to save Liam Neeson's old ass, dude. That would have been kind of crazy. Um, yeah. But there, there there has to be a game or, or something like that, too, where it's, you know, you go through what it's like to be Bruce Wayne during the daytime, having to deal with that drama, managing your relationships with people. And then at nighttime, it's like, oh, shit, I got to suit up and save the world, dude. You know? Oh, that'd be pretty cool to role play. Like you're just, you know, having your regular life, and then all of a sudden you, you have to sneak out somehow to mm-hmm. suit up and get ready and take out this guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like managing, I think we've talked about a dream game like that before. You know, managing your, your, your real identity life with your superhero identity life. You know. Yeah. So I think that would have been sick. Um, maybe having it so, yeah, we're like in the Dark Knight, where as Bruce Wayne, you can invent this sonar system that can find anybody near a telephone anywhere, you know, and then as Batman, implementing that into um, uh, finding the Joker, you know, I think mm. that that would have been kind of cool, two different sides of the gameplay where as Bruce Wayne you could kick ass, but you don't want to reveal that you can kick ass. So you're just there with your intellect and like doing puzzles or things like that. And then with Batman, you just brute force shit. Um, I think that would have been a cool game too. Um, would it have been the same? No, it would have been completely different. You wouldn't have had like the cartoon characters voicing um, the video game characters. So you would have missed out on that. Um, plus it's not as tied to the, the real world, dude. In the first, in Arkham Asylum, the Joker becomes the Hulk and shit, right? <laughs> <He takes laughs> yeah. that uh, serum or something and serum. just gets all buff and shit, dude. There's nothing really like that in in uh, the movies, really. Even Bane. Bane doesn't have his steroids that make him all huge and shit, dude. You know, that mask that he has on is, is painkillers, essentially. Um, So, damn, dude. I have to watch that. Those were my favorite movies, dude. I need to watch those again. I haven't seen those in a while. Um, even though Batman is blatantly like shooting people with guns and shit in that movie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use guns, but bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> know, right? He's flying his fucking helicopter, shooting it at a nuclear bomb and stuff, dude. <laughs> it's too funny, man. Um, but yeah, I think it would have been an, an interesting take. I don't think it's too late. I could, I think they could try to do it now, like make a more, um, like subdued, um, kind of slow burn Batman game I think would be cool too where you do more of the investigations and being a detective rather than than fighting people and stuff like that I think that would be a pretty cool game too you very very minimally do that in Arkham Knight or yeah Knight Arkham Knight yeah yeah with the detective uh, work stuff yeah you have like your uh, Witcher vision or he puts on the the little eyes that make everything blue, right? Yeah, but it could be more, you know. Mm-hmm. Like you have to actually think, oh, the trajectory of this bullet entering, <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See where it came from. Yeah. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all. I mean, and making a Batman game, you won't fail either way. I mean, even the Telltale Batman games were great. I only played the first one, but that one itself, I played that shit all in one day, dude. Yeah, that game is is super fun, uh, because in that one, it's a telltale game, so you don't really do any fighting besides some quick time events, you know. 
but it is all about the lore and just being in that world and um, all the backstories with all the clues you find with different villains and stuff. I think you start out in that game, you know, it's Batman arresting somebody, then going back to the Batcave, and you could spend maybe 10 or 15 minutes just walking around the Batcave, and it has, like, all of... Uh, Batman's mementos from all the villains he beat, you know? Yeah. We just go in and, and look, oh, here's the uh, here's the puppet from that guy that, you know, is being controlled, mind controlled by the by the gangster puppet or something. I forgot what he's called, Scarface or something. And then here's uh, the Joker's teeth or something, some bullshit, you know? That's, that's cool. I think that's all you get. Have you played the Batman VR? Dude, you should get the Batman VR game. I have not played it now that I think about it. Yeah. yeah How much that. is it? Batman VR on the PS. Oh, I play the Spider Man. That <laughs> counts. Wait, what's the Spider Man one? Uh, it's the one from. I forgot what movie. Homecoming. And basically, you can swing around as Spider Man. Mm. And it was pretty fun. It was just kind of tricky. And, you know, it's a little bit clunky, um, mm-hmm. but still, like, you're falling off a building, you're actually swinging around and whatnot, and and it was pretty cool. It was just getting tricky trying to figure out how to use the webs properly, because it's mm-hmm. like, you have to do it in an angle, so you can swing, you know, in that way, unless, you know, if you, it was, it was just tricky, it was mm-hmm. just tricky. So I think, yeah, in, the, in the, the Batman game, it's more, you don't really fight. It's kind of what I'm describing where all you do is investigate shit, right? Mm. Um, so, yeah, how much is it? Did you see? I'm looking at the review, but I didn't see how much exactly it is. Um, $14. Oh, dude, you might have to buy that game, bro. Yeah. Yep. That's going to have to come when I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, not just interesting the thing about what, what a different direction um, Batman could have taken in the, in the video game world, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can never go wrong with Batman. Uh, see, speaking of DC superheroes, dude, uh, Superman is going to be the new Geralt of Rivia. In the Netflix series, right? Yeah. Which have you, have you seen the most recent trailer for it? Uh, the last trailer I saw was where he had like black eyes, so he was taking some mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. potions. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look too bad, man. Did you see though? The people <laughs> <laughs> made a mod of him. Into the Witcher game. Yeah, yeah, into Witcher 3. That's exactly what I was going to bring up, dude. <laughs> Are you going to download it? No. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to go with the future here. You got to you gotta experience as the real Geralt of Rivia, dude, as Superman. Henry Cable, man. You got to experience the game as him, dude. Uh, I could, or I can just stick true to how I <laughs> <laughs> how it was meant to be, how it is always meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, I think the Netflix series looks pretty good, man. Um, from that trailer that we saw, I think it'll be sick. He looks like he's fighting the way. Geralt fights from the first one where he's doing like backflips and just swinging his sword above his head and shit like that. Dude. Oh yeah, he, yeah, he definitely fights like uh, Garrett Geralt. So, so why wouldn't you include you know the actor in your game, man, just to get a feel? <sighs> you know about that chin though. <laughs> <laughs> but did you see? I think you can you can grow because do you have to cut your hair in Witcher Three? Or is there an option to cut your hair? Yeah, cut your beard and your hair. See, the, so there is. There's an option in the mod for you to grow a beard on him to hide that chin, dude. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it was already hard for me to actually beat the game the first time. <laughs> I still got to play the the DLC. So maybe if I do play that DLC, I can 
I'll, I'll, I'll look into that oh, mod. Dude, yeah, the mod with with the DLC, I think, will be even better, man. Yep, yep. <laughs> Is it just going to be weird because it's still going to be Geralt's voice coming out of Superman's face, dude? I know, I need to tweak it up to higher pitch. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna be kind of unusual. But from the sounds of the the trailer, it does sound like uh he tries to he tries to have the Geralt voice in there, you know. Like I'm a witcher. He tries to make it all raspy and shit, dude. Oh really? Is this like a part two trailer? Because I have not seen that. No, I think he says one or two things in the in the original trailer, dude. Oh, okay. I think yeah, I was totally not paying attention. Blocked it out of your mind, dude. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's fucking wild man um unfortunately i would try it i have witcher 3 on the playstation 4 though so there's no way um which i kind of regret i think it was on sale for like 20 bucks which is why i got it um but the more i'm playing i need to play a playstation 4 game real quick just to see but the more i play grand theft auto 4 man as i said last week the more i miss those fucking 60 frames man yeah yeah you can download it on steam but it's only it's 15 bucks i think right now yeah dude i'm not gonna buy that game twice dude there's only (laughs) like one game that i'll buy more than once and it's grand theft auto 5 dude (laughs) (laughs) i really bought that game three times man yeah because i see it now too you know one of my i have two monitors one of my monitors uses a display port and the other one uses a vga cable i think um the one i have a display port on i can get to like 120 some megahertz right mm-hmm. um is that the right term for it yeah um and then on the other one it only goes up to 60 so when i move my mouse around on the display port monitor it's way smoother dude <laughs> oh yeah I can follow my mouse all the way across the screen on the other one uh since the refresh rate's only like 60 hertz 60 hertz is what i'm looking for the other one's only 60 hertz that one is just like i I can notice, dude. I notice where it's skipping, man. <laughs> My <laughs> eyes are becoming spoiled, bro. Yeah, you gotta get rid of that old monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude, monitors are like three hundred bucks, though, man. They're good ones. Yeah, good yeah. Ones, the one I want to get the same one of mine, but yeah, it keeps going up in price, which doesn't make sense. It's like two hundred and seventy dollars, and I bought it for two forty. And this monitor is like maybe six years old or something. Oh wow! Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, it doesn't make sense because it's still popular. People are still buying it. Mm-hmm. So they won't stop selling it. Mm-hmm. That's wild, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. No one thinks, won't they come out with newer models of the of the monitor? They you know? did, but nobody's going after it. They're still going after the, the old same one. one. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's the one the crazy thing about computer parts. You know, it doesn't, people don't necessarily jump onto the latest and greatest. More than not, I think people go back to what's proven and trusted um, as far as PC parts go. Um, it might be the only place that does that too, man, because everybody yeah. wants a new car, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of wild how, how it works out like that. Um, What else is going on, man? Uh, Someone sold all their Pokemon cards for over $100,000, dude. They had a complete collection. Of the original 151. Jesus. Sold it all for $100,000. Oh, my God. Do you and still who, have your Pokemon cards? I do, but I don't think they're mint like how they're selling it. What counts as mint condition, though, dude? I don't get... Like, I think all I've ever done with my cards, right, mm. is open the pack, put them in a sleeve, and then put them in a folder. That's all I've ever done with my cards. Are you supposed to Ziploc... Like air vacuum, air vacuum it, yup. Because then, yeah, chemicals and stuff in the air and corrosion and blah blah. Yep, that's bullshit, man. I want to meet the person that makes the standard on how to judge these cards, dude. (laughs) (laughs) And then plus, I don't know if you noticed, like if it's been in the 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 package for too long or whatever, you know, it sticks. The ink sticks to the. Mm. whatever is inside mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Onto yeah. the holders and stuff yeah yeah man i'd have to look at mine mine are in a in a like what are they called like a tupperware not tupperware but like <laughs> See? basically like a plastic <laughs> mint condition <laughs> case dude and um i put a 
it just has a bunch of books and things like that in it. And I put a trash bag over all of them thinking that would protect it somehow. So I got to go back and, and see what they look like, dude. Uh, Cause it's some random, random standard that they have. I think it's called like the card protection score or something or CPS or something like that is what really matters to them. And it is, you're right. It's like the coloring. I think if it has, if it can get scratches on the foil, you know, if it moves around in the plastic it's in and things like that, man. Um, so what you're saying is you're trying to get a hundred thousand dollars right now. Oh yeah, one hundred percent, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if I could sell my Pokemon cards for a hundred thousand dollars, I will kind of, I will do it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't threaten me with oh, but you spent your whole childhood collecting a hundred thousand dollars. Is a hundred thousand dollars, man? <laughs> yep, yeah. So those shits an RV, bro. I'm not doing anything with them. Um, well, yeah, you wouldn't sell yours for a hundred thousand. Oh, dude, I can't even find mine. <laughs> oh, well, shit, dude. <laughs> That's no fun then. But you know what, too? They've changed the cards around. Um, I think they went through a whole thing, Pokemon, the card game. They went through a whole rebalancing re- recently, right? Mm. So I think I have a bunch of old Pokemon cards. I think back then a Pikachu had like 40, 30 HP. It had one attack that did 10 damage or something like that, right? Now in the modern era of the Pokemon card game, Pikachu, a basic Pokemon, has like 110 HP, and his attacks do like 40 damage, dude. Wow. Yeah, so I think they went up and just buffed everybody to make the game go by faster and, and, and make Pokemon seem stronger. Um, so it's kind of funny. Some of the trainer cards, too, I think are different because my cousin has the newer cards. Um, and I think I had, like, the the Gary card. Not the Gary card. What's the guy that has the computer? Bill. Bill. Bill's PC where you keep your items in. Ah. That card is so broken as its original form. In its new form, I think you can only get one Pokemon or something. But in its old form, you can get, like, two Pokemon out of your deck and put them into your hand, which is super op um in today's rules because it's just so hard to get all those pokemon in in your hand you know to play them out in the field um yeah it is kind of funny seeing how things change um and yeah no i'm definitely gonna look at all my pokemon cards after this and see what kind of condition they're in dude if you want some money too if you happen to have a shiny pichu party hat you can probably sell it for two hundred and fifty dollars. In Pokemon Go? Yeah. Why? People are really after that? Uh I think so. Cause they're averaging two hundred and fifty dollars right now. Wait, where's the market for this? Is it on eBay or something? Or? On eBay. Really? Yeah, and there's like I don't know, three people already looked at this one. Yep. Yeah. yeah. People are selling Pokemon Go Pokemon. What about uh, wait? What what other Pokemon are they selling? I don't know. I just know that one was like pretty pretty the highest. So mm. let me pull up some stuff. It looks like four fifteen dollars for a Metran, five dollars for a Relicanth. Oh, maybe I might buy that. <laughs> 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 well, you said how much? Four five hundred dollars? You said. Uh, five dollars for a uh, relicanth. Oh, yikes! Well, oh, look at that shiny Rayquaza, twelve dollars. Not bad for those regional ones, though. I would fucking, I would charge way more, dude. I have to fly there, get a plane ticket, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna charge way more than that, man. Yeah, so I already sold forty-seven, uh, for the Tropius, the one that's in uh, Africa. Damn. Yeah. See, in that one, you gotta pay your uh, your hazard tax, dude. Africa is, is kind of crazy out there, man. There's lions and shit, dude. Yeah. Yep. I wonder how they even trade. How does do they meet in person or something? Yeah, I, th- I would think you'd have to, right? And then do they wait like ninety days to become great friends <laughs> to do the trade? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It says with will trade within the hour. Jesus. So. Yeah, how do you do that? Because then you have to be friends in the first place. Yep. And then you have to be near each other. Huh. Maybe 
Yeah, maybe, yeah, in vicinity. This one's in Illinois. Oh, well, shit. Maybe they can spoof? Oh, yeah, maybe. They have to be able yeah. to, right? Yeah. Because my coworker recently, he started to get into Pokemon Go. I think he played when it first came out as well, like we did in 2016. And I forgot why he started to play again. Um, But he's starting to play again, and he said that one of his friends knew how to spoof. So he's like, yeah, I'm using my friend's account right now because my friend's on mine and he's he's spoofing for me. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool, you know. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, he gets his account back. He has like a whole page of Genghis Khan. He's like, oh, you need a Genghis Khan, man? He's like, oh, no, nah, dude. I actually went to Australia to catch mine, man. And he's like, oh, okay. Damn. And he's showing me all this stuff that he has now, man. He has like all these shinies. He has uh, the gifts he gives me are from Paris and shit, dude. I was like, oh, my God, wait <laughs> <laughs> this guy really spooed for you. So it's interesting. People still do that, dude. It's kind of wild. Yeah. Um, he got like 2 million Stardust, too, um, from when he gave his friend his account, man. So it's it's kind of wild, man. I don't know how you get away with it because I have heard of people getting banned. You know, if you spoof too crazy, like if one day you're in Japan, an hour later you're back in America, you know? Yeah. So I have because it is your GPS position essentially. There's no way you could be in those two places in in that kind of time frame. So. Oh yeah. See, I'm reading it, and this one's selling it uh, across the world, and it says, "Send me your trainer code and coordinate, and I can spoof to your coordinate." Oh yeah, yeah. Damn, dude, that's kind of raw. What up? You're uh, gonna send I... someone the coordinates to your house, dude? Well, that's possibly true yeah <laughs> and, uh, i'm gonna go to the target uh what is it called the target uh parking lot dude and sit there with my phone. <laughs> all right i'm currently at this coordinate dude <laughs> i'm currently at um shake shack right now <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's not technically not wrong it's like two feet away from you dude hey hey no i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah, no, that's crazy. I didn't know you. Pokemon was a cash game like that. Yep, I am gonna add to my watch list. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, I think that is it, man. You got anything else going on, man? That is it, my friend. All right, PAX is coming up in in two weeks, not next weekend, but the weekend after. So we will be out there for sure, dude. Summer 2019 is ending. Yeah. Already, dude. I, it didn't even feel like summer. Nah, nah. It kind of didn't. didn't. Do anything, literally. Yeah. Yeah, I just worked, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a whack summer. Well, either way, we'll be in Seattle, Washington soon here. Yeah. We'll, yep. we'll be able to try out all the new, newest and or latest and greatest games, dude. Um, dude i'm just gonna unwind and have a bunch of games ready to play yeah yeah i'm I'm definitely gonna get astral chain that weekend dude to play hell yeah that's gonna be good times are you gonna bring your dock for your switch dude Nah, uh, i'm just gonna bring my switch i don't know if we should because then should we we could be a tv dude out of all of us do you think someone else will bring a will bring a dock yeah, I'm going to ask the chat. Anyone bring in a doc, no one responds, then maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay, cool. So I don't have to bring mine. Thanks, Rick. I, you're welcome. Because <laughs> I need to beat, um, what's that game? Cuphead with you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gotta, yeah, that's right that's I need right. your help. Cuphead. I forgot about that game. Have you gotten any further or you haven't played it since? No, 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 no. I can't play by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot play by myself. Shit. All right. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be a good time. So that is coming up. I'll we'll have a lot of shit to talk about from there for sure. Um, that is in a couple of weeks. I guess next week we'll talk about our expectations, dude. What we hope to play out there. <laughs> what we hope to get out of it. Um, But yeah, that is it for us this week. Until next week, Rick, some words of wisdom. Uh, if you want to capture Pokemon and be rich, you can sell them on eBay. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs> 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 Couch. <laughs>